All right, guys, welcome back to Suck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you guys, and we're always smiling. So you guys see Jillian over there, and she's driving, so you know there is an adventure that's on the way. Um, this trip, to be honest, like, I say that a lot, to be honest, but I am telling the truth. Um, for this trip, there really is, it's like a trip with, like, no reservation. Like, we're just going to go to places, stop at places. I told Jillian, pack enough clothes, because... We don't know how long we're gonna be on the road for um but the first stop i do know we're going to montego bay to link up with the lock and load cruise i don't know link up with my boy david i'm gonna do maybe a bit of fishing whatever I, we don't even know what the trip's gonna be about to be honest um but before we get to that remember the gofundme the link i don't even know maybe in this video i've already raised all the funds to buy the drone but yeah for this trip i would really love to have a drone to like get all that cool footage but if you haven't gotten to the point where we have raised everything hit the gofundme support your boy so we can get this kick drone like i'm so excited about getting a new drone anyway um yeah i try to make raj fix it but um yeah everything is fried he said there's no yeah there's no coming back from that drone but anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna get to Montego Bay, and the first thing that's gonna happen is the boys at Locked and Load they are cooking a feast because it's almost like the prince is coming. <laughs> One of my crazier moments. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I'll catch you guys at that part. All right, guys. So we are in the beautiful Montego Bay. And we are here at our apartment for the next, I don't know how many days. <laughs> yeah, so David was so kind to have it opened up and everything. And we're gonna have like a great view of the, the marina and everything that's gonna be lit. Big TV, really and truly, I'm not gonna, let's be real, I'm not gonna really watch TV because yeah, here are two film and all that and there's oh jilly there's a kitchen so that means you can make me breakfast <laughs> so yeah guys the space is pretty big but we are gonna go down for some food because we're really hungry oh guys ribs yeah what's what kind of rub is that it's a home peter special chef oh peter. chef peter's well you know rub. captain peter you vibes guys yo oh, oh my gosh Oh, wow. So, so we good. just pulled off some really good uh, pork chops and we did the chicken already too. Um, so this yeah. is now like See, new wave on that. Captain Peter over there so. Yeah. You see me? We meet once again. <laughs> <laughs> what? How are you liking it so far? Nice. Right? The food look good. The food look good. Trust it smell me. good. It smell good. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that slab of meat, bruh. Everybody hear about Jillian and see Jillian and see what Jillian love her belly. <laughs> So in the efforts to not look too greedy. This is not my food, guys. Jilly served me first. Well played, Jilly. Well played. No cameras. <laughs> Morning, guys. Yo, I'm actually taking notice that this place is a really big place. It's actually a whole three bedroom is here. It's ridiculous. But yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, it's a really, really nice place. And let me tell you, man, the view of the whole marina or whatever is just really beautiful. Uh, I don't really know what the plan is for today. Um, we wanted to go fishing in the morning, but you know with fishing, things change. The weather probably is not the best or who doesn't want to take out the boat today or buying fuel. There's a bunch of stuff that goes into that. But um, yeah, I think the first mission for today is to get some breakfast. There's a guy down here that I really wanted to... Um, try to see if I could film possibly with some street food 
I don't know because I don't know exactly where he is, but anyway, let's start there. I just love the living room space and everything about it, man. And then the view outside, bro. It's it's really awesome. I think there's a mesh there, so yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's the view. You know, boat life and stuff. Um, the kitchen. It's a nice kitchen. There's something about it that feels very beach house-ish, to be honest. I don't know if it's like the whites that they use and stuff like that. So yeah, at least it's a spot to actually cook, if so be the case. Like this morning would have been good to um, have some breakfast done, but we don't have um, anything like that. So yeah, just a couple beers, um, soda, whatever. Is there by chance ice cream in here? Oh, bro, no ice cream. You guys don't know i'm a big fan of ice cream so i think the plan now would probably be to um go down to the beach club and maybe like um get something to eat from there because i'm gonna get hungry really soon Alright guys, so we are about to link up with David because David is somewhere like downstairs, which is really cool. Like he's very close by this time around. And then we are gonna hop over to the food table. You know, <laughs> because you know Julie loves food. So yeah, let me get something for her. Is he hey. Hello. Oh yeah, Charlie. yeah, for real. His name is Charlie? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hello Charlie. Hi Charlie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. That's one beautiful bird. But anyway, we're gonna go get some food because me hungry and Jilly is hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just got to the Montego Bay Yacht Club. It's basically it's a vibe. But I wish I had Jamaican breakfast, which I don't have this morning. So they have um, American breakfast. So we're getting some French toast, scrambled eggs with cheese, bacon, and Jilly's getting omelette with cheese and bacon, mm -hmm. and a nice cup of coffee. I'm I definitely getting older because I'm drinking coffee now, bruh. It's weird. Coffee for old people? Huh? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, people who don't have much energy, you know? Roast me in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> right? Jilly's breakfast looks good, right? It looks very good. It's pretty good. And what I'm excited about is the coffee. On our last adventure to Grey Hot, where we got the, the espresso the shot, French, the French, French press. press yeah. Boy, that was good. That was really good. Hey, my beautiful breakfast is here. Thank you. No, that was it. Thank you. All right, very American-y, but let's eat. All right guys, so we just got done eating at the, the yard club. As like I said, I, I miss that person with their Jamaica. As a Jamaican, I always feel for um, Jamaican food. Um, but besides that, the food was good. Yeah, the eggs were really good. It was 10 out of 10. Yep. It was nice. So if you're an American and you like stuff like that, um, I guarantee you, you should enjoy the food. Anyway, let's head back over because Jilly wants to watch this very special video. Yeah, there's a very important video marrying at 12 o'clock, so I, mean, I don't need this gentleman to take up my time, you know? Huh? That's a part of it, right? You ain't gonna always catch fish. So no fish, right? Damn. But it was fun. What was the fish you were trying to catch today? Huh? What fish were you guys targeting today? I went out for swordfish. Swordfish, damn. Yeah, but you know, typically the most boring type of fishing. That's what I heard, that's why I never came. <laughs> I heard like wake up 6 30 a.m. for a swordfish that we may not catch. <laughs> all 
Alright guys, so unfortunately today for the sea searcher it wasn't the best at searching but that's a part of fishing, right? Um, for those persons who watch these type of videos for the fishing, you know you're not going to always catch something but um, for these fishermen it's always just a thrill of going out there on a good day, you know, just chilling, maybe drinking a cup of beer. Do you guys drink beers today? Huh? Do you guys drink beers today? No. Nope. That's, that's why we never bring any Okay, that, that's that. That's why. <laughs> that's why. If there's no beers on the boat then there's not going to be any fish. I mean, point blank. <laughs> At one point, when we start troll coming, we just turn it on yeah. and just left it on the post to face around when the troll come in. And then so you guys seen him before, that's brand. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, like we are here chilling with the Lock and Load Offshore Adventures. If you guys have not checked out their videos, definitely go check it out. You guys know I'm not really a fisherman, so you don't know. David is like the plug for like all that information as to how to get all that done, right? And on your videos so far, you've done. Yo, people been killing me about catch and cook. If you really want to watch a catch and cook, over yourself. Like, yeah, I don't get the chance to do a lot of those because. Yeah, not really a fisherman, and that that generally is like the um, the game style that is primary out here in Jamaica, right? Fishing, yeah, fishing. just a hunting. But you guys are going to be working on something on your channel, mm -hmm. which is going to be even more epic, which is going to be like the ranch. Okay, can I keep that? A, is it a yeah, hush yeah, hush? It's quiet, uh, okay. Yeah. I'll let me shut up. All right. Sure. So check out the link in the description box. Um, you guys can find log and load adventures and it's crazy stuff over there yep. vibes <laughs> all right tree gog lies Tomorrow's bait? Yeah, this is it all relies on this right here. Vibes. Yep. And this Brandon is like a, what a, is it a tuna? Yeah, it's a tuna. Yeah, that's the old one. The it's Arctic the tuna. See it two sides. Yeah, so that's you got one bunny top. You got one, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Anyway, I gotta run. Blessings. All right, so there goes a bait in the freezer for tomorrow. We pray for a good catch. Prayer. Hmm. You remember that story when Jesus told the fishermen where to cast their nets? Yeah. Every boat needs that one person Jesus in casting. So there's only one captain and one team you want on a boat. The dream team. guys good morning so it is 6 30 a.m right now and we are about to go out on the i just was looking out because i don't know you know fishermen sometimes they gotta go early and they might just leave you so i thought they were just leaving just now so nice little you know sunrise happening right there so um i think we should catch a lot of fish today because i will be you know captaining the boat today so 
<laughs> like I just knew, bro. Like you'd be bad. You're just like. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go, man. Morning, Captain Peter. Ready. Morning, guys. I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so excited? So excited. I am guys. so excited, man. Oh my gosh. Big up to the boys over at Locked and Loaded Adventures, man. We're heading out. Don't know, Captain Peter is on the wheels. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, 
of the weight here because what the weight will do is help to bring the line down because you don't know the line in the water would float so yeah that's the vibe man Sunblock assist. Cause we still burn up down. Yep, yeah, still yeah. burn, but yeah, the other lid. Huh? The other lid. Other lid? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so of course the, up to the, wheel. the motors are electrical, so. Raman, did I give them some power? Yeah, man. Give them some juice. Because I've had to wind up the line manually. manually. Yeah. It's the worst. I mean, 1200 foot of water and with that weight on it. Let me tell you, when you come up, you feel your head tired, man. Sure. Oh, my God. It it's a job. It's a it job. It is a job, man. Alright, so Peter. Yes, sir. It's not smart for one person. <laughs> Peter, Peter's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's not smart for like one person to come out fishing by themselves, like no, doing this. It's not recommended. Not recommended. A lot of people do it. Yeah. yeah. Set up first. It's a circle, right? So it's, the bait is very soft, right? So you want this to come out through the skin, so you're just going to put the hook in the center and just turn it, hold it like that, and just right through. Okay. Logics are that, as Peter said, the meat is really soft. So yeah. if you only hook through the meat alone, the yeah. fish will pull it off, off really right easy. Yeah. yeah. It's not even gonna reach the bottom. Exactly. Drops right Speed off. Speed what is is carrying the two pieces. Okay, make it fall off. Yeah. Mad. Oops. So I have a question for the fish. Is it like? Good quality fish I use as bait, or if it's poor, I can use it. What kind of fish you got? But the fresher is better. Fresher is better. Yeah. Mad. The catch return of using this bonita bait, which yes, you could have sliced yeah. up the bonita and cook it, you know. Yeah. But the fish that you get from this one bonita doing this type of fishing better. Better than the bonita. Supreme. Supreme. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I had that queen snapper once, and it was yes, phenomenal. Ma yes, man. It's really good. And and you get the. The cardinals and you get the golden eye snappers, those okay. are really nice too. You have another snapper down there, you call it bun fin. Bun fin. <laughs> That's a local name. <laughs> mm -hmm. So a question, uh, there's so it? many there's so many aquatic creatures in the sea, like how do you learn the names of them like I mean the, the different variants? Yeah, just and the interest, you know, from when I was a kid I was spear fishing at a very young age. Okay. And you learn all the species from the older guys, the older fishermen. Okay. When you're at the seaside and you see them coming with a net, you see so much of, you have a variety of fish. Yeah. You ask the names, you know. Gotcha. When I was a little kid I learned all that. Vibes. Mm -hmm. Ready and baited, Peter. Tell me when we're ready to drop. Peter uses the depth finder, finder and the fish finder yeah. to look for good spots. Right. Good oh, drop. Right. You, don't, you don't want to just drop any beer. Because there are parts down there that are pretty barren. Okay. So you can he, he picks up the fish on there as well? Yeah, or does it depth? The it depends on the equipment that you have. Okay. You have fish finders that can go really deep. Yeah. And the recommended brand is Garmin? Uh, Garmin, yeah, or Simrad. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good. Simrad make a lot of good stuff as well. Okay. 
So they're using experience and technology at the same time, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, even when you can't read the fish on the bottom, yeah. at least you can read the bottom structure. Yeah. The structure which determines good. where you will find fish. So what are you looking at at the structure like? What like it? most of out here you have levels like drop-offs. Yeah. And then some, some places are flat. So anywhere that you see a little flat with a hump, like a little rock or it yeah. could be anything. Any ridge or whatsoever, that's Perfect. what we look for. So yeah. you know that there's some fish or whatever. It's gonna be around it. Yeah. Makes sense. But then with this type of fishing we try to avoid the, the jagged reef. Yeah. We don't like to go shout. Yeah. Okay. Because that end up you lose a lot of line rigs. and a lot of eggs. Yeah. yeah. Each time you hook up and you can't break off. Yeah. You can't lose out. Yeah, last week we lost a nice rig. <laughs> oh my god. That far, over a thousand feet down, you can feel the little nibbles on it. Yeah, a little nibble so can be a big bite, but it's so far, so distant. Yeah, but you have to give it that jerk. When you feel that nibble, you go and yank it. And then you will. You will. Fishing, guys. After that, you just feel it and see if he's still on it or not. And then and bring him up. Okay. Yeah. But the electric like will save you that. And that's why we use jury instead of one line. Of it's far, you know. You say you yeah. what type of line? Braided. 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 Oh, this is not my preferred type of fishing. I much prefer the manual monofilament is a plastic line. Okay. And the braid is a, is a thinner line but stronger. Alright, then it's it, it less remember. stretch. Yeah. Yeah. It's so risk. deep. <laughs> this is what you can feel the bite more. more oh. deep, so. Julie says she will get some big fish today. I'm gonna show these guys off today. <laughs> That's how it's done. Guys, unless you want to look up to keep us electric. No. Because this is a lot of work. And also the sun at and risk. Yeah. So I'm not complaining when I see the fishermen them are selling fish. Bad eating. <laughs> yeah. I like the fish. The fish this deep in it. I feel like I feel like some pulling like Yeah man, yank it. Yank it, yank it. I'm killing him. Lift it over here. Okay. I can't do it, it's not coming. Let me say careful, Carrie. Alright, let it go a little bit. Not get it by. Yeah, but sometimes it's drifting. It's drifting a little bit. Sometimes when it's drifting, when the boat moves, it's not getting it on the bottom. Alright, so Peter had some gloves. Let it go. Let it go. To let Jilly use. And then. Yeah, but the thing about the line, if it pulls too hard, you can cut your fingers. So, just no, to be safe. Be but I know that you guys don't use the gloves really because you want to feel the line more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with yeah. the gloves. You can't feel the load, but then you used to it. You used to it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fisher by to use crazy glue and put between the cut. Oh, you can seal it up. So it's all right and burning. Yo, you guys are renegades, man. <laughs> what the hell? You guys hear that? The dudes that then use crazy glue in between their wounds to heal it. So that's 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 epic. That's cool. <laughs> Yo. So just to give you guys a time check, it's 8.03, we got up at like 6 o'clock, well I got up at 6 o'clock, what time do you get up Peter? 5.50 Oh my god, anyway <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> Is it 5 o'clock? Whoa, this is an early man's but game every day Every day Yeah, you know what we have life, we get up early every morning Straight No matter what time you go to bed, you know 
It's good to go to bed 4 o'clock, you still get up 5. Sure. You <laughs> <laughs> did that? Definitely. <laughs> The money have a built-in alarm clock. Definitely, man. The morning time, the dawn of the day is the best time by far. Straight. Yeah, man. Straight. You get something? Yeah. You get something? Remember when you tried? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I tell you, you know, sometimes you run it. And they just, it's like a give up. We never lost much bait though. Oh. Awesome. So Oh my gosh. See the eyes? You know what? I was watching you guys. That's why I have pressure. I was watching one of the videos. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He's a real one. She will actually watch the videos with her guys. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So you guys should watch the videos too and subscribe. Lock and loaded. Vibes, yeah. adventures, yeah. straight. I got one hook again. Give this one, yeah, one bite. Okay. Okay. One XP, but I think we're going to have to. Oh yeah, it's, it's a real rockabye baby type of vibe. Why are you All right, guys. So we are at another spot, trying to see if we can get some bites this time around. Still praying to God. Yeah, 
Everybody is excited. Oh my god. Jilly is super excited. Before you even see color, what we can do is a nice fish like the fog on the line. Oh, it's easy. Come on, easy. This is a big fish biting the world. Real, yeah. And I think it's a. Yeah, yeah. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You know. Yes, I. Right now, I'm going to leave two, three fish come up and you just. Yeah, I'm bringing them up. This is something. Come in. Ha 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 so excited! Yeah, yeah. You guys can realize that the reel is fighting. It's a pretty fall for real. So. Yeah. And also the tip of the rod, you see the bend in it? Yeah. It's a vibe. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Lock and load. Lock and load adventures, yeah. guys. 
vibes. Look at that grouper. Bruh. No, my man. You have to add this to your, your archives. Yeah. Hold on, go back out a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Go back out a little bit. Careful, big You win a bit. Slippery man. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Good job. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Vibes. <laughs> Die heavy blow of fish, man. How you feel, Jelly? I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. That's the biggest fish you yeah, ever I'm held, right? Loaded adventures. These guys are awesome. Yeah. Subscribe, guys. Watch the videos. <laughs> hey, you ever cook grouper? No. Okay. Yeah. Now you're talking real deal. Hey, Peter, tell him, now, man. I have to make Peter tell you about grouper. Scaly. That's okay. That's when worth it. See what the you can do splash on yourself and wash off if you want. <laughs> yeah, man. Nice. Yo, nice. Nice. Worth it, yo. Worth it. That 5 a.m. wake up. Yeah. <laughs> worth it all the yeah, time. Man. I'm telling you. Lovely group up. Still alive. Hi, man. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, I don't even care. Oh. I don't even care. Come on. We need to catch like more, five more of them. <laughs> wow, what a catch. No, that, this is not a common catch. Well, not the size. Yeah. yeah. That type of fish, yeah, but just not that, that size. Right. Nice. Not common. That's a lovely. Captain Chili. No, it's Captain. No, man, Captain Peter today, man. Captain Chili. Yo, Jano. First mate today. First mate today. Yeah. Jano. Yeah, you, guys, you guys might not realize that when you come on to fishing, it's who actually piloting the boat. I play a big deal, no, so? Oh, for me, the, hit, the motor goes so and so, yeah. and a tangle line, and you know, not pull up too fast. And a key thing that Peter was mentioning, when the reel was coming up, you don't want it to go too fast, right, yeah, Peter? Yeah, 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 tear off. Yeah, tear off the fish because the fish right. is fighting back. Yeah. You know, and he's jerking and everything. So you don't want to come up too hard and it pull the hook, you know? Yeah. You hear them say run, Jassel? Yeah. <laughs> you force the fish. Sometimes it causes it to tear out and you lose him. Yeah. And then you want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Have patience. Facts. Come up slow. Oh my yeah. gosh. What a, what a beautiful fish, man. Whoa. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Yo, that is a exceptional feeling, man. Like seeing everything come to fruition, like yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. So, when you come fishing and you catch a group of like that, you make a ready. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you see catch now, Brata. you know, it's just brought up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you well safe already? Yeah, we're definitely a sweet spot because Peter same of yeah, fish corner line. Fish and Ramon as well. So, let's see what we can bring up.
guys, yo, you won't even understand how so excited I am, yo. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't think I've never seen a fish that big. Like, when it popped up, it was like a balloon, like pop. I was like, yo, bro. Yeah, it floated right up, like what Peter say, yo. But is it me? What I like about a fish like that, when we do a cook up, we have we can do it in many different ways because there's a whole lot of meat to go around. Is it me? So I hear Peter saying, when I do like a a fry up type of yeah, thing, again, butter fry, so butter fry. Yeah. Wrap some with foil and bitch. Oh my god, so, bro! And would you say like a group was an exceptional fish for cooking? Very good eating. Very, very good, good eating. Awesome. That's all they eat in the Bahamas, basically. Oh really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Worst fish yeah. yeah. And you call to me same yeah. time and say yo, yeah. slow it down. Yeah. Because if you force that, you know, you have no fish then. That is. Are the way to the, the, the fish going to be the my fish? Seven and a half hours in the fish. 11 and a half more fight? Yeah. All right, so I wasn't filming the other two queen snappers, but there is two beautiful queen snappers that's inside the box. So yeah, we are filling her up. It's really good. And Jill, as always, calm, composed, gentle, just over there. But she is a killer when it comes on to bring out the big fish. I see you there. here with basically a full drum of fuel and we're halfway there so you know we've been out here for quite some time just showing a bit and just searching for some really cool spots and <laughs> 40 pounds later <laughs> see there i'm gonna call for the sea grape one again God, guys, the magical glasses. Did you really cut something again? I think Gillian got some. All right. I'm not sure. I think we have something. Let's check. So I realized with the queen snapper, she, it's more the, the, the color is like a, red. a crimson red, red. Yeah, man. bright bright red. Yeah. yeah, now I see the difference for real. So that's a cardinal. Awesome. Which one is the better eating fish, queen snapper, right? Yeah, definitely queen yeah. snapper.
Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Oh! Woo! Let's go see that. And those two are cardinals, yeah? Yeah. Two cardinals. I'm getting better at figuring them out. Hey! Ramon on them. <laughs> Vibes. Yeah, we need some fish. Yeah. Fish. What a beautiful fish. It's gonna be some amazing catch and cooks that's gonna be going on on the beach, guys. Let me tell you, man. Some simple ingredients, fresh fish. It doesn't get better than that. Oh, and some rum. <laughs> One more drop. Alright. Drop, drop, drop the one. You ready? Yeah man. Alright, so we're trying to get some variety, right? Yeah. So we got quite a few cardinals. Um one and two queens, a big grouper. And then later we're gonna try to get some drummers. Yes, we're gonna get some drummers. Okay, all to the three fish, which one is the better one to um have? I would say the queen and the grouper. Queen and grouper. Awesome. Yeah, man. Hey, when you get juked by a fish sitting there, not rotting them on. Down, down, lower. Yeah. Nice. Guys, look at this fish. Beautiful, man. Real beautiful. Yeah, man. Cooler looking good. Looking good. Inside. Choppy. Yeah, we're in a smaller boat this time around. Ramen back there is. <laughs> yeah, he's getting the front of it. Jill is getting some as well. Yeah, I don't know Peter as well. So, well, it's a vibe, man. You don't know, but if you want the real fishing adventures and you know going out to sea, locked and loaded adventures, where you're gonna get that. As always, we're doing collabs with them. You know, catching some epic stuff like already you I wanted to catch a big, giant, giant fish, man. There's no better way to go, man. Woo! Ah!
Ja. an oh, epic day that was awesome really awesome yes. day right jeez oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost forgot okay. i'm back oh, you're so helpful you know that right that's why people love you so much it's really, yeah you really have that vibe really good vibe That was really cool. All right, so the sea searcher did a lot better this time around. Don't know, big up to Captain Peter. You see me? Raman out there as well. Here are vibes, man. Now it's time for the heavy lifting. There's a moment of truth. I said 51 pounds. Um, Jilly said what? 45. 45. And this scale stops at 50? Yeah. So, if it goes over 50, I think that's epic. Bore it through the bottom. Bore it through the ears. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Moment of truth. How's that pwn, bro? Alright, let's see what you guys. 44. 44. Oh my god. Oh my god. 44. Yo. Oh my god. 44 pounds. Alright. All right, all right. It's been about an hour since you've been watching this video. So you're getting a little bit bored. I understand. So we're going to split this up into two. But I promise you, I'm going to be taking you to an island paradise to cook up this awesome fish. And you're going to see some of the top chefs when it comes to cooking up a fish do their thing. And the sad part about that video, that might be the last time we can take you into that paradise for free.